we're going to be covering a few things in this video um, so it's going to be a bit longer than usual we're going to be uh, looking at some antennas that be in the um, the ground mounted quarter wave fan dipole that I have the Antron 99 that uh, I've recently put up as well as a, a quickly made half wave dipole uh, that I built just to do some comparisons I'm also going to be attempting to convert the uh, the my IC 746 to 11 meters hopefully that works works out good I've been putting that off for a long 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 time and also announcing the winner of the, uh, the giveaway CB radio so that'll be in the video here so just go through it have a look when uh, I announce the winner if you're the winner comment and I'll get back to you and we'll arrange how we're going to get the radio to you so good luck with that and uh, thanks for tuning in hope you enjoy the uh, video let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe it really helps have a great day In the last video you would have seen me uh, quickly talking about the the Antron 99 as well as a few other things well um, the story goes when, uh, when I brought these CB radios back home I didn't have a a, a CB antenna so I was just uh, using it through my my HF antenna which is a, a vertical uh, fan dipole a DX commander but basically it's a vertical uh, fan dipole that's mounted to the ground on a pole and you've got various elements quarter wave elements going up for the, the different bands so I was listening to and using it on the on the 10 meter portion of the antenna and I was using the an antenna tuner to, to get it um, you know ball in the radio it was resonant but it was it wasn't very good it was pretty poor uh, and then a few weeks ago I got the the Antron 99 that I bought off of a guy um, about 20 miles away or so said it was good but then I guess uh, he would say it was good and put that up and that's at about uh, I don't know 20 odd between probably around about 25 26 feet up in the air. I didn't have to go too high. I'm just interested in using DX rather than local. I don't think it's going to be anything local, to be honest, like most places. Um, fine on the SWR, but it wasn't working very well. Pretty much the same as the, uh, the HF antenna, which you know isn't really made for the job. So I was a bit surprised there. So this morning I built a half wave dipole and put that up there. Um, the bottom is actually stapled to the grass and the top is around about uh, 16 feet up to a balcony. Um, it, it didn't take long to build and um, it didn't cost much money. Just a few bits I had hanging around and a couple of bits that I'd made previously. I'll show a picture of that. Uh, I might even have a little And here is the um, dipole that I made. And it's at the moment it's just going up about um, 16 feet at a slight angle. And this is the ground mounted um, fan dipole that we were talking about earlier. With all the different elements coming up there. Anyway, now it's time to get this, uh, or attempt to get this 746 transmitting on, on the 11 meter band. 
um, looked up on the internet and I can see I've got to get rid of one one resistor which unfortunately is uh, a surface mount component it is small so we'll get this opened up and uh, see if we can make a successful job of this so this is the tricky bit I've got to get that resistor off the board and as I so small we'll just put a little bit of pressure on the side of the resistor with the scalpel and then just dab in with that really fine nose soldering iron just a couple of little touches I don't want to go too far there you go it's uh, it's off and it looks pretty clean after I put it off which is which is good so that little dot down in the corner of that white page is the removed resistor as you can see it's absolutely tiny and I'll zoom in unfortunately it's all going to be a bit wobbly because uh, I'm hand holding this and trying to get the magnification as much as I can but there it is absolutely minute So this is the moment of truth then, I put the radio back together and tuned it into uh, channel 38 and it's receiving just fine. But the uh, proof in the pudding is um, if this is going to transmit. And fingers crossed. I am an FM. Yeah, it's uh, it's transmitting. That's fantastic. Yep. It's a little exercise. I've done the job. I've been putting that off for I don't know how long. Um, those surface mount components really scared my life out of me. But. Uh, as you can see, it now, now works on the 11 meter band. So now the radio is converted to 11 meters at transmit. Um, I've hooked up both antennas to the radio. That's the uh, Antron 99 and the uh, DX Commander, which is just a quarter wave uh, wire from the ground, so we can compare the two. Um, antenna one is the quarter wave wire. Of course, there's nothing coming in now. Uh, antenna two is the Antron 29, sorry, 99. Not a great deal of difference on the distance. Could do a slightly stronger signal. I think um, I think the Antron is doing slightly better, but it's not a great deal in it. Considering you know, considering the price difference, well, okay, it's just over three, so just over five. So it's like one S point. Wow, 
Uh, I, I need to wait for some stronger signals to fully test this. Right, let's get into the, uh, the winner of the radio. Um, the, uh, the Cobra is going to Ink Geek 007. And so if that's you, drop a comment below and uh, let me know you're there and I'll, um, I'll get back to you and uh, work out how we're going to get this radio to you. I'm giving you 10 days and then if you haven't uh, replied in 10 days then it'll go over to somebody else or redraw. So uh, you can still carry on applying just in case Mr Ink Geek 007 doesn't reply. So there's not a lot of skips this morning, but I figured I'd just do a comparison between the uh, the Anchon and the um, the vertical I've got ground mounted. At the moment we're on antenna two, which is the Anchon, but as you can see, there's uh, not a lot there at the moment. We can uh, just wait for a, a half decent signal. We can flip from one antenna to the other just to see what's going on. Okay, so we've got an awful noisy signal, but at least it's uh, a stronger one. And at the moment we're on the ground mounted vertical and we're getting like probably S3 to 5 put it onto the Antron and we're getting 5 to 7 okay so after the room just inspecting the Antron, making sure it's all okay. It does seem to be working a bit better. Um, it, it, it's only 24 feet up at the moment. So I'm thinking if I can get that a bit higher, or when I put it up a little bit higher, it could, it could do a bit better. So, the difference between the uh, ground the ground mallet vertical and the ant one is uh, two to three s points which uh, which is a bit better that's uh, more that's what i pretty much hoped for so i think the next thing to do is get that homemade dipole back up and then um, compare the dipole with the Antron, and I think I put the dipole up a little higher and more vertical rather than sloping. And then we can uh, make a decision on what antenna I'm going to be using. Not a lot out there this morning, though. Alright, so this morning, I, uh, as I said, I put the Halfway dipole that I made, I put it uh, up another six feet or so, uh, totally vertical, um, and tested that against the, uh, the ground mail at the antenna, the quarter wave, and it wasn't performing as good as I hoped. It works in a push, you know, in a push you can make a halfway dipole for around about $10. Just leave it in your car or something, it'll probably work a lot better than some car antennas. Um, but it wasn't as good as the fan dipole. And the Antron 99 was doing a bit better than the fan dipole. So out of the three, the Antron is winning on, on on the CB bands. So the next move is to uh, just finish off 
uh, attaching the tower so it's nice and strong and then put the antenna up uh, I think it can go up another eight feet so it's going to be 30 some feet up and um, and we'll leave it at that so I think you know after all that messing around thinking that the antenna wasn't going to be any good it turns out that uh, it's the best out of the three. Not saying it's the best antenna out there, but it's the best out of the three that I've got. So we'll get that up and start using it properly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as I said earlier, please subscribe. Um, I need the hours at the moment, is what I need. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.